Testimony is underway in the trial for one of the men accused of killing Andre Emmett, a former basketball player at Dallas Carter High School, Texas Tech and the NBA. Emmett was sitting in his car outside his home in Old East Dallas when he was shot and killed three years ago. Larry Jenkins is on trial for capital murder and Ariel Placencia was in court all day and joins us live. Uh, Andre Emmett's mother was the first person to take the stand. Ariel, how, how was she? She was emotional at times, Chris. She said that on the day of the shooting, she went to Andre Emmett's house to drop his daughter off. And when she got there, when she pulled up to the driveway and saw that his car was there with the door wide open, she knew that something was wrong. I panicked. I said a few choice words. Uh, I kept calling him and calling. I was a little scared, to be honest. I'm like, where is he? Now his mother, Regina Oliver, became emotional on the stand when the state showed her pictures of her son. She later briefly left the courtroom when home security video capturing the crime was played for the court. Dallas police officers testified that this video and their investigation led them to three suspects. Larry Jenkins, who is on trial for capital murder right now and has pleaded not guilty, as well as Michael Lucky and Keith Johnson, two men who were indicted on capital murder charges back in 2019 for Emmett's killing. The former Carter High School basketball star was shot on September 23, 2019 during a robbery while eating Whataburger in his car in the driveway of his old East Dallas home, police said. Dallas police officers told the court today they tracked the suspect vehicle, looked into phone records, and received tips as part of their investigation. A detective testified Tuesday he believes Jenkins is the one who pulled the trigger. Meanwhile, Jenkins... Ladies and gentlemen, it starts out with Michael Lucky and it starts out with Keith Johnson and that rocks along for a year. And then all of a sudden, one person, a criminal, starts the ball rolling. Now, the state called nine witnesses today. They told me they do expect to continue calling witnesses until Thursday. Meanwhile, court starts tomorrow at 830.